Harris, and you're talking sports with Randy Harris. All right, we are back. Final segment here. Uh, starting next week, we are going to be giving away tickets to the Tampa Bay Comic Convention. Uh, a couple uh, of the celebrities that will be there that uh, we will be hanging out with, Steve and I. Uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake is going to be there. Missy Hyatt's going to be there. Daryl DMC McDaniels is going to be there. Um, reading through the list, they're announcing more every single day. So, Did I see Elijah Wood on the list? Yes, he's on is, the list. Is he on there? Yeah, he's on the list. That's a big... Yeah. I mean, I don't have your computer. I don't have that kind of show prep. In front no, of he, me. he is on the list. I'm just using my Rolodex up here. Uh, I'm looking at... Uh, a pornographic memory. Uh, I'm looking at some more that, uh, that'll be there. Um, some more games will be. You know, the, it's a lot of the... What do you young kids uh, games? You know, with the cards and all that kind of stuff. So, Pokemon. Uh, good stuff. So the Tampa Bay Comic Convention, August twenty third through the twenty fifth, and uh, starting next week, there's Elijah Wood, Small uh, Star, Michael Rosenbaum, Mila Lee. Uh, I'm Chan excited for me. Chandler Riggs is going to be there. Yeah. I know we had him on. I know. I'm excited for uh, Paul Williams. Vincent he's the top dancer, right? He's the professional yeah. top ballet guy. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> Paul Williams was in Smoking the Bandit, right? Paul Williams, yeah. Smoking the Bandit. Wow. Going back there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, we'll also be covering uh, the Fanboy again, which is where we uh, had the opportunity to talk to Henry Winkler last year. Yeah, and Michael Eustace will be there. We had him on the show a couple weeks ago. He's the EP of Batman. He's going to be there. With uh, they're, they're taking all the Batman costumes from every movie and they're doing a whole that's what they did in San Diego they're doing they're going to do it here in Tampa so you'll see every single Batman costume from every movie Jeff, who was your favorite Batman Michael Keaton so all right let, let me rephrase it because if I would have phrased it phrased it properly you would have said Michael Keaton but the, the greatest Batman of all time is Adam West but if we're going to talk movies then of course it's Michael Keaton. Yeah, and the greatest thing he he ever said, uh, loved him in Night Shifts. By the way, it was a, a great movie. Um, he did uh, one of those commencement speeches, and you know he did the whole speech, and then he went and sat down, and then he came back and said, "Oh, one more thing, um, Batman." <laughs> 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 Love Michael Keaton. Yeah, me too. He, he's he's wonderful. G a great actor, really good actor, and seems to be pretty down to earth. I mean, you don't really get many stories about Michael Keaton going off the deep end. He's certainly no Gary Busey. Or, for sure. or, or Tom Cruise. I mean, or Tom Nick Cruise Nolte. has been accused of being off the deep end. He's doing the closing ceremonies in the Olympics. Oh, so. yeah. It's supposed to be a, a, a really impressive what, what he's going to do. Yeah. Supposedly, he's going to like either scour up, scour down, whatever, the Eiffel Tower, and then swings off the Eiffel Tower. Okay, wow. and lands in L.A. with the flame or the flag. He's like the modern-day Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan did all his own. Yeah, he, well, and that's why he always gets injured, yeah. because he wants to do all these things. Yeah. That one thing that he was at the top of something, and, and the ledge is like two inches, and he's standing on it with, with no harness or yeah. anything. Yeah, he's Tom Cruise is very brave, or off the deep end. We yeah, right, <laughs> right, pick which yeah. one? It's a thin line. It's Scientology it is, at it its best. It is a thin line, but it, he is incredible. And there's a, there's a documentary called The Last Movie Star, and it's about Tom Cruise's career. And I, I watched a little bit of that, but then I got bored and moved on. to I was watching Knockout Radio on YouTube. Yeah, it's blowing up. It is the blowing up. The YouTube is blowing big. up. Get in um, we, we had to go through some, some procedures and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> now if we could just get Matt to follow it every, everything would be yeah how do I find it again <laughs> I, I don't know I can't text you because I don't follow you I'll subscribe <laughs> well, yeah what's going on Dana White I mean you know Dana is big in censorship he pulled all the Pelotons out of the UFC performance that's the, not censorship he did because they were trying to censor Theo Vaughn because he had RFK Jr. on okay so hold on hold on hold on so it's not Dana trying to censor no, no, but Dana hates censorship of any form right of anything right and like and you remove me from threads and you delete my comments. I, I send did. you pictures yep. and you, you send them to the trash folder. Yeah, I delete them. Yeah, I'm going to tell Dana you're censoring me. You know, he's going to hate you. No, oh, well, there's a difference. Dana, I'm, he censors me. I'm not. Wait, 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 the difference is Randy and I can talk to Dana. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't talk to Dana. <laughs> and, and you'll emotions. never talk to Dana again. Um, <laughs> the difference is I'm not censoring you, I'm just censoring reading your crap. That's the difference. You can still post all the crap you want. Just don't send it to me. I feel oppressed. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I'm in North Korea, and I want to compete in the Olympics. I would I love to fly you there. 
Yeah, yeah. Be the one time Randy pays for travel. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That's the <laughs> yeah. one time Randy says, "All, all right, right, Matt, got, I'm going to get you on." I'll the pay flight. for the flight and I keep the uh, passport. That's right. Now, I mean, we yeah. all we all give Randy a hard time, but I think he did pay for my trip to New York once. I think we did go to New York on his Jeez. dime to see a UFC fight. Oh, nice. So I do say thanks for right. the accommodation. That won't happen again either. Yeah. So you know, you you live and learn. It was spirit. And I had to fly the plane halfway. <laughs> was, all right. So anything uh, about Saturday's UFC? 